Hello everyone, welcome to Europe Education. I am Jitendra Tyagi. So right now I got a very important opportunity to meet Dr. Atul Dhar, uh, who is chairperson and associate professor also in School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering, IIT Mandi. So sir, most welcome on Europe Education platform. Thank you. So sir, uh, first of all, uh, we want to know about uh, you, you about your journey about your academics, all these things. So currently I am chairperson of School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering. So before joining to IIT Mandi in 2013, so I completed my PhD from Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur. Before that, master's from same institute. And I have completed my BTEC from Harcourt Butler Technological Institute, Kanpur. And I belong to a small uh, town of Sultanpur from Uttar Pradesh. And I am serving this institute since last nine years. Okay, great, sir. So I HBTI, IIT Kanpur, both are very good institutes. And now you are working in one of the topmost IIT uh, in New Age IITs. So, sir, uh, this school of mechanical and materials engineering. Generally, we see that mechanical is a separate department. Materials department is separate. So, is there any particular region of making a school of mechanical and materials combinedly yeah so it has uh, part of answer uh, lies in the administrative structure the way iit mandi started so initially like there was a school of engineering so it was taking care of administrative responsibility of both civil engineering environmental engineering mechanical engineering as well as materials but as organically we are growing so now we have separated the administrative structure of civil and environment in one unit and second one is taking care of this school of mechanical and materials and it has uh, say various advantages so a, even any mechanical engineering student so for realization of any real world product so he has to have a comprehensive knowledge of uh, material science so this integrated uh, uh, say cooperation between mechanical and materials so that is helpful but in future if it happens that uh, like both departments are growing large so this cooperation we will keep intact, but administratively they can be separated out so that okay, like in they future are. We may have separate department of mechanical and materials. Yeah, but okay. this cooperation and integrated training of design and analysis aspects covered in mechanical engineering and selection of requisite materials so that same design is implemented that will remain intact. Okay, so what is the structure of this entire uh, unit? Yeah, so currently uh, we are having say four verticals. So one takes care of uh, solid mechanics and design. So that is the core of uh, mechanical engineering and uh, like everyone outside also, they pretty much understand what is solid mechanics and design. So then one uh, unit we have in the name of uh, thermal and fluid. And uh, one unit we have uh, say manufacturing specialization and one vertical we have uh, material science and engineering. And uh, like we have about six to eight faculty colleagues uh, working on all these uh, four specializations. Okay, so you are currently uh, managing all these four verticals yes. and uh, one particular vertical uh, in which uh, your more work is related with? So, yeah, so of course in this school there are four verticals and my specialization belongs to fluid and thermal engineering and uh, say even in all verticals, so they have uh, say experimental laboratories and some faculty colleagues are uh, doing experiments and all these four verticals they also have uh, say computational or analytical uh, tools so this dis distribution is there and apart from that there is a uh, very much interdisciplinary cooperation between faculty colleagues among these uh, four divided uh, say specializations okay. and uh, i work on this fluid and thermal and uh, it is experimental in approach and outcome is the analysis of energy systems. So that includes say use of bioenergy for automobile or transport applications. So analysis of uh, say uh, solar thermal systems and uh, use of energy for many wastewater treatment applications. So that is the applied part of my own research. Okay. And I hope you will get chance to interact with my other colleagues. So then you will get idea what are the various uh, research areas in which this entire school is working. Okay. And there are, uh, how many labs are there in this? 
department both the department uh, so like uh, administrative unit is one and there are four specializations and you can say like every uh, faculty colleague so they are uh, owner or executor of uh, one independent lab but physically they may not be say quite separated because this integrated uh, housing of those labs it has uh, advantage in terms of saving of research space cooperation between students flexibility to work on in interdisciplinary problems so uh, number of uh, labs that is say something flexible if no any new colleague joins so the flexibility we offer individual faculty and the phd students to research so you can say uh, during their stay here they are the owner and executor of one particular lab okay so sir uh, you told about your research areas okay uh, so can you explain more about them yeah so uh, yes, uh, you have some plans to work on in future also yeah or maybe currently you are working on some particular projects yeah so if students or other industries want to know about those things then please tell us so in terms of say uh, scientific knowledge so my research area is uh, fluid and thermal engineering but uh, it can be applied to solve variety of the problems so my own focus is to apply the uh, heat transfer and fluid flow knowledge for the analysis of uh, bioenergy systems so that includes like uh, production of uh, biogas that can okay. be used as a automobile fuel then use of say liquid fuels in internal combustion engines and how it affects its uh, performance so there are say various research issues so ensuring compatibility between say engine and the fuel properties so then how to reduce energy consumption in say wastewater treatment processes and generating some output energy while uh, say achieving the treatment of the waste water so i i'm currently working on one project on that and second aspect is how to harness the say solar energy through thermal route so that means getting the heat part of the solar energy and putting it to various industrial applications or maybe space heating so this is the like uh, width of my okay current research. so sir uh, suppose there is some small industry in this area yeah. or nearby to chandigarh or anywhere okay they need technical support from different iits yeah. okay so uh, what kind of support uh, your department and your team okay uh, can provide to industries so that wh what kind of industries should contact you yeah. if they need some kind of technical help in particular problem yeah so uh, like our current faculty strength of 30 so they are very much uh, equipped to take uh, say consultancy uh, work or providing solution to industries uh, working in the production of say uh, any uh, say high end uh, products so for giving some examples so recently we started some collaborative work with the uh, brd that is called base repair depot of this uh, air force so in terms of technological challenges you can uh, appreciate that they are the say uh, units of the indian air force taking care of the uh, maintenance of helicopters so it is something closer to the technological challenges uh, comparable to say rocket science so even there our faculty colleagues uh, suggested some improvements for uh, replacement and indianization of the some of the components reducing their maintenance schedule and uh, even currently we are having say some collaboration in uh, design problem of some of the uh, wastewater treatment industries some of my colleagues uh, they are giving consultancy to some uh, solar uh, installation units then uh, there are uh, colleagues uh, who are uh, working in the improvement of the design of say various uh, say automobile and other industrial products so uh, like once uh, any structure of the product is coming depending on what specialization we have so we have capability to analyze existing products suggest improvements are many times like even industries approach with the requirement of their suggestion or improvements and in last eight years we have executed many of them with the involvement of our okay. students and colleagues so sir now 
there are many students who may be watching this video in future especially from mechanical if someone is there he has options of joining different iits different nits or other institutes for pursuing their higher education like mtech or mtech research or ms research or phd okay any course you want to join so what unique features this department in iit mandi has so that students should uh, think about this and they should join iit mandi especially school of mechanical and materials engineering yeah in your view. so like first thing what you noticed about our uh, flexible administrative structure so that gives them lot of flexibility in choosing their research uh, problems okay so if they are uh, giving uh, they are getting this ownership of uh, choosing so, their uh, one one question here yeah. sorry to interrupt you a student is there yeah now he want to do some research okay yeah so but his guide he, here we get some uh, professor as guide yeah so guide is working in some different area yeah so is a student forced to choose only those areas uh, in which their guides are working or they can work on their interested area if yeah. they join here so compared to say uh, other uh, academic units in india so based on my experience i will say he has a lot more flexibility to work in the research area different from the research specialization of his guide so thanks to like this uh, flexible uh, say uh, lab uh, organization and the accumulation of the say various specialization so even uh, say in last uh, uh, 10 years so we have graduated about uh, 60 uh, masters and phd students so many of them they have uh, uh, worked in research area uh, based on their say comfort liking and uh, with sufficient divergence even with the research specialization of their guides uh, but of course uh, uh, having uh, say close connection with the guide and having some overlap that is of course desirable yes uh, but uh, uh, we practically and even in past execution we have allowed that flexibility okay so yeah. sir actually there is one trend of artificial intelligence nowadays yeah. everyone from mechanical from civil from electrical any branch yeah. many students want to join that area so is there any possibility that some student join in mechanical and he can work on some particular project or anything which involves use of mechanical engineering as well as artificial intelligence yeah. so is there any facility or any person working on ai also using ai techniques in mechanical engineering here yeah so if you see like mechanical engineering say just uh, 15 years before so there was very minimal use of say computers but now if you visit the lab of say mechanical engineering research so you can't find any difference uh, so whether it is the lab of any mechanical engineering researcher or it is computer science researcher so as in the beginning i said many of my colleagues they are involved in the analysis and uh, analysis by using computers but recently say in last uh, say 5 years so this new way of analysis where we are having less prominence of uh, first principle physical uh, uh, approach rather than we are having a uh, lot of data and computer is taking care of uh, uh, identifying pattern from that data so even like uh, not in uh, mechanical engineering so any branch of engineering so uh, since the last uh, 50 to 100 years they have uh, generated lot of personal experience and compilation of the data and so every researcher is uh, shifting to this ai based analysis of historical data so then i will say so out of my say this uh, 30 colleague so even currently they have started using ai for uh, coping up of uh, this uh, new research environment and uh, making use of availability of large amount of data so gradually uh, and uh, in terms of phd students so who have finished their uh, master say in hardcore uh, approach of uh, say uh, computational or experimental research so they are now uh, working on this uh, ai based uh, mechanical engineering research so even currently there are say five students uh, working on this approach and at least 10 faculty uh, even now appreciating and uh, uh, doing mechan hardcore mechanical engineering research they have done that approach and in two or three years so once you will visit again so you will uh, 
uh, see that like everyone is at least user or contributor to this AI based research in any engineering branch, not limited to this mechanical raw material. Okay. Yeah. So, sir, uh, can you say something about placement opportunities for MTech students or MTech research students after completing their education in mechanical domain? Yeah. So, uh, till now in last uh, 10 years, like whosoever has uh, finished their degree, they have uh, been suitably placed and uh, just to give broad idea where uh, they are getting placed. So, more than 50 percent, they are uh, choosing for say higher education. So, PhD students, they are uh, going for postdoctoral uh, research in some of the foreign universities or in some cases uh, they are continuing here or some of uh, other IITs, but mostly they are joining uh, say uh, this uh, postdoctoral research in other uh, non-Indian in institutes and masters students, uh, they are joining uh, PhD in uh, some of the top ranked foreign universities or uh, some of other IITs. And uh, I will say about uh, 40 percent, they have also joined uh, say industries and they are doing fairly uh, well. And some of them after finishing say couple of years in the industry, they came back even for the research. But in terms of say overall placement, uh, say in last nine years, so 100 percent they have got uh, some job of their own choice. Okay, sir. Yeah. So, it was very nice discussion and very important information you provided to us and uh, students can decide now uh, to choose a mechanical and a school of mechanical and metals in IIT Mandi it will really help the students and uh, industrialists also having their problems they should uh, contact sir or this department you can contact through mail can send your problems and uh, get that resolved. Thank you. Yeah, so Thank thanks to your PDA team and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this series in campus and uh, yes, sir. through our inter uh, like detailed visit of live and other things. So, tomorrow you can get more ideas. most important thing, yeah. we are getting very much good support from uh, all the professors. Yeah. So, the unique feature I found here, faculties are very, very supportive. Okay. Yeah. So, that is a very good uh, thing. Uh, and same applies to like any industrial collaborator or any new student who is joining to us. So, thanks for noticing that and uh, I will also like to highlight that our uh, unique USP compared to say other uh, institutes. Yes. Thank you. Okay.